Uh, now I will show you how to do a woven wheel or a spider web stitch. We will use it to create roses. I just want to remind you that we need to make an odd number of corners. We can make 3, 5, 7. We need odd number so our pattern will start forming. Here I have made 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 holes. After we are done, we turn the embroidery hoop around and we will uh, fix our thread with masking tape. I will be using 6 strand thread because I want my rose to be a little more barky and more visible. You can use the color of thread of your choice. We will first create five legs that will present like, how should I say, a frame for creating our rose pattern. Please make sure that you pull the legs firmly because they will be base for our pattern. If you make bigger circle, I would recommend you to start working with 6 strand and later on with 12 strand. And if you make a smaller circle, then I would recommend you to start working with 3 or 2 strands and then uh, double the strands to get 4 or 6 strands. Be careful, this part is a little bit tricky. Uh, here we have used a six strand thread, but if we want our flower to form, to become bigger, we need to double the thread. So we will be working with 12 strands now. I do this to just uh, leave a tail, or I can even secure it. So if I pull the thread that it won't fall out, and now you see, I have a double strand and that means instead with 6 I'm working with 12 strands and so here I will go above and under again here we go above and under and above and under and after you will make this turn several times, you will see our flower forming. And if you look very carefully, you will see that here, you see, when uh, in this, this turn we went under, so now we need to go above. And the next leg, as you can see, we went above, so we need to go here under. So if you go away for coffee or to the bathroom, you just check huh, here where you stayed. Here it is clearly seen that uh, we went under, so now we need to go above. I really enjoy making these roses on paper. You see? Here we will make just a couple of the turns and then we'll check again and then I will show you how to finish
Uh, as you can see, our rose is not yet finished, but we need to change the thread because my thread is too short now. So I will just go with the, this leg, see, and I will poke under, under, just pushing through. So I will hide it, and then I will just turn around, secure it with thread. cut away and insert new thread and start again where I finished. I have decided to use this crochet thread that is really really beautiful and now you will see how to add it to the outside petals. So, uh, I will just uh, continue where I have finished. I will actually go through the same hole that I have pushed the thread out and I will be adding it okay. I will secure it with the masking tape and I have also checked here, you see that uh, I went here under so here I need to go above and under so that I stay with the pattern and here it is see we went under so now we need to go above and I'm just adding more volume to my flower this my beautiful flower and I will just go with the next hole and insert it in the same go to the back and cut away Uh, here I just wanted to share with you uh, my sampler uh, Here for this rose I have used a uh, 12 strand thread Here I have used the crochet thread And here I have made rose with ribbon And I have made uh, the uh, foundation with a uh, sewing thread The five legs And then I have just inserted the ribbon five millimeter thick and started doing the same pattern as we have just learned. I hope that you like my uh, rose sample and I will see you in the next lesson.